Hello, everybody. Today we are joined by Darla Ellett from Project Teach at Southeastern Oklahoma State University, and we're going to ask her some questions today about Project Teach. Um, so, Darla, what is Project Teach? Uh, thank you, Hannah. Uh, Project Teach is a, a U.S. Department of Education grant program. It's a in the family of TRIO grant programs that are designed to help students complete um, their education. There's several um, programs, Gear Up, Upward Bound, Talent Search that are designed for high school, and Student Support Services, which Project Teach is a Student Support Services program, um, are designed to help students in uh, college. One of the things that our program, ours is considered a designated Student Support Services program because we work sp exclusively with education majors. So some of the services that we provide are tutoring um, in general ed and some of the education major specific courses. We offer assistance with completing financial aid packets like the FAFSA, um, scholarship applications. Uh, we'll help with scholarship searches. Um, we also offer opportunities to attend different cultural events, like going to um, some theater productions or opera or um, museums. Those are some uh, cultural trips that we've, we have taken. Um, another thing that we do is provide professional development opportunities for our students that are outside of the educational spectrum that you um, that are focused in your degree. So for instance, we took a group of students to the Ron Clark Academy in Atlanta, Georgia, and it was a pretty profound experience for those students. Um, some other things that are really specific to the teacher preparation portion of the student support services and project teaches, uh, there are teacher certification exams that you have to pass in order to progress through your degree plan and we help students prepare for those things. Okay, how long have you worked with the program? Well, I have been working with Project Teach for six years. I have been in my official capacity currently as the director for a year and a half. Okay. Um, you worked with uh, school-aged children prior to working with Project Teach, correct? Yes, um, I worked for 22 years as a public school educator. Uh, the first portion of my experience was working at a high school and I taught all subjects of mathematics and um, helped them organize and begin the AP calculus program at that school district. Uh, the rest of my experience primarily has been at a middle school level and uh, teaching mathematics. Okay. So do you have any tips for education majors or even current teachers maybe for their classroom or things they could do to maybe make their lives a little easier? I do. Um, I, really, I have primarily two tips. And the first one is just to be really flexible. I mean, just thinking about the, the current situation we're in with this COVID-19 epidemic is the, the teachers are still responsible for the education of their students, though they're not able to meet with them directly. Um, that's, if you were teaching in a normal setting, there, you're still having to be relatively flexible because um, standards change or curriculum changes. I mean, there's so many different things that happen in education, uh, the education field, you just have to be prepared for any kind of changes that do occur. I, I've said several times, I think the second year I was teaching, I realized I had gotten a degree in roll with the punches. And that's because you just, there's so much change that takes place, so many different things that happen in education. You have to be ready and flexible to be able to to bend with those changes. The second thing is to have a sense of humor because there's going to be times when uh, students say the funny, funniest things and, you know, how you respond to that. I've seen teachers get mad because a student was being comical in a class and it was just that student's nature. And I've seen other teachers take that same type of uh, situation and use it as a learning experience in, in, in the spirit of the comedy. So just have a sense of humor. And there we go. This is Project Teach's Facebook page, everyone. Um, it shows information about where they are and where they're located and stuff. Um, and information just about trips. They share pictures and videos and information about scholarships. So if you are a student, 
at Southeastern or um, maybe even considering um, becoming a student, and you have questions, contact this program because they can help you out. And if you're on campus, they're in Morrison 225. Um, so Darla, thank you for being on with me today. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. And everybody, um, I'll have their Facebook page linked in the description down below. And if you're new to my channel, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.